What's good everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to reduce input lag and boost FPS in Fortnite on PC using these easy and simple tricks. Enjoy! For the first easy method, what you're going to want to do is while Fortnite is running, click the Windows key and type in Task Manager. And click that. And if your task manager looks like this, click the drop down arrow right here that says more details. And you should see Fortnite right here if it's running. Right click it and then click go to details. And it should be highlighted by default the right one. But if not, just go right here and hover over the Fortnite that has the most numbers here and the only one with CPU cores being used. Right click on it and hover over the set priority option, but do not click it. This should bring down a drop down menu right to the right. And for you guys, it will be set on normal. But what you're going to want to do is come right here and click high and then hit accept if, you, if it asks you to. This is going to put Fortnite above all other processes in your computer, resulting in less input delay and higher frames. Now, if it gives you a message that says access denied, I'm going to leave a video in the description of how to get around that. The method in the description not only bypasses that message, but every time you start up your game, it'll automatically set it to high. Is If you do the method that I just showed you, you're going to have to do it every time you start up your game, but I promise you it's worth it. For this next easy method, all you're going to have to do is click the Windows key and type in Game Bar. And click Game Bar Shortcuts, that will pop up. And by default, Game Bar is going to be on and you're going to want to turn this off. Game Bar is an application that runs in the background while you game that can be used for recording clips, taking screenshots, etc. However, most people don't even use it, so it's just in the background, working the CPU without even you realizing it which is going to cause more input delay and less fps if you use it that's a different story but if not turning it off will increase performance for this next easy step what you're going to want to do is click the windows key and type in power plan and it should look like this click this and you should see a little thing right here that says change advanced power settings click on that and this should pop up. Now in this little drop down arrow right here, click on it and make sure that it is set on high performance. By default, it's usually set on balanced. Make sure it's on high performance. This will maximize the components in your PC and really bring the most out of your PC resulting in less input delay and better FPS. This next trick is extremely simple and effective, so every time you open up Fortnite, the Epic Games launcher is going to open up and run in the background while you play. And to see this, every time you start up your game, go to this little show hidden icons arrow right at the bottom of your screen and click it. And all the things are going to pop up and the Epic Games launcher you're going to see is one of them. And you're going to want to get in the habit of every time you start up your game, right click and exit out of the launcher again it's one of those things that runs in the background that will slowly work your cpu a little bit more than if it wasn't running for this next method you're going to want to download a program called timer resolution this program is used by many pros and it's used to greatly reduce input lag and in some cases even boost fps so what you're going to want to do is open up your browser and type in timer resolution. And once you do that, this should be the first link that pops up, timer resolution 1.2 free download. And when you click on it, it should look like this. If for some reason the legit one, this one goes away, I'm going to try and find another legit download for it and put it in the description. But as of now, this is working. So download this and put it somewhere either in your desktop or your downloads i already have it downloaded and what you're going to want to do is open it and it's just going to look like this and all you're going to do you see the current resolution one millisecond hit maximum 
and altogether you should notice a massive difference while playing your game. And by the way, do not exit out of it once you hit maximum. Just minimize it like that as you play your game and you should notice already a lot faster response time, which is great. Next, I'm going to run through my in-game settings that are very similar, if not the same, to what all pros use in order to create boost the greatest FPS and reduce input lag as much as possible. So to start off down here, the view distance, I have it near to boost the greatest FPS, but some pros do have it medium or far to benefit them as it won't cost them much FPS with their really high end PCs. Everything else, everyone has off no matter what. V-Sync off, motion blur off, show FPS on, I like to see where I'm at. Direct X version, if you have a really high-end GPU and a CPU that falls behind it, you could benefit from DirectX 12. However, most pros use DirectX 11 due to them having high-end CPUs and high-end GPUs. Allowed multi-thread rendering on and use GPU crash debugging, I have that off.